I have called out because you answer me, O God. Incline your ear to me and hear my words. Keep me, O Lord, like the apple of your eye. Protect me under the shadow of your wings. Hear my just cause, O Lord. Attend to my supplication. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I have called out because you answered me, O God. Incline your ear and hear my words. Keep me, O Lord, like the apple of your eye. Protect me under the shadow of your wings. Good evening. Welcome to St. Aidan's Parish and our parish celebration of the 29th Sunday in Ordinary Time. We are also celebrating World Mission Sunday. We'd like to extend a warm welcome to all who may be visiting our parish. In order to help preserve the dignity of our sacred worship, we ask that you please take this moment to switch your cell phones to the silent or vibrate mode. This evening's second collection is in support of our Catholic missions throughout the world. We thank you for your support of the special collection as well as your ongoing financial support on behalf of our beautiful parish. Presider for our liturgy this evening is Monsignor Emmett Nevin. He is assisted by Deacon Jim Marr. And now please stand to greet our celebrant, Monsignor Nevin. Jesus Christ, our Sovereign King, who is the world's salvation. All praise and homage do we bring, and thanks and adoration. Christ Jesus, victor, Christ Jesus, rule. Jesus, Lord and Redeemer. Good evening, everyone. Let us begin our Mass in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. Coming together as God's family and with confidence, we ask the Father's forgiveness, for we know that he is full of gentleness and compassion. I confess to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to you, you my brothers Lord, and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and, and you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, to pray, pray for me, me to the Lord, Lord our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, glorify you we give you thanks 
King, O God Almighty Father. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit. In the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever living God, grant that we may always conform our will to yours and serve your majesty and sincerity of heart. To our Lord Jesus Christ, you are Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord to his anointed, Cyrus, whose right hand I grasp, subduing nations before him and making kings run in his service, opening doors before him and leaving the gates unbarred. For the sake of Jacob, my servant of Israel, my chosen one, I have called you by name, giving you a title, though you knew me not. I am the Lord and there is no other. There is no God besides me. It is I who arm you, though you know me not, so that toward the rising and the setting of the sun, People may know that there is none besides me. I am the Lord, there is no other. The word of the Lord. Sing a new song to the Lord. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Tell among the nations his glory and his wonders among all the peoples. Give the Lord glory and For the Lord is great and highly to be praised, to be feared above all gods. For the gods of the nations are not. It was the Lord who made the heavens. Give the Lord glory and honor. Give the Lord, you families of peoples, give the Lord glory and power. Give the Lord the glory of his name. Bring in offering and enter his courts. Give the Lord glory and honor. 
Worship the Lord in holy splendor. All tremble before him, all the earth. Say to the nations, the Lord is king. He will charge the peoples in fairness. Give the Lord glory and honor. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Paul, Silvanus, and Timothy to the Church of the Thessalonians in God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace to you and peace. We give thanks to God always for all of you, remembering you in our prayers, unceasingly calling to mind your work of faith and labor and love and endurance in hope of our Lord Jesus Christ before our God and Father, knowing, brothers and sisters loved by God, how you were chosen. For our gospel did not come to you in word alone, but also in power and in the Holy Spirit and with much conviction. The word of the Lord. Gospel according to Matthew. The Pharisees went off and plotted how they might entrap Jesus in speech. They sent their disciples to him with the Herodians, saying, Teacher, we know that you are a truthful man, and that you teach the way of God in accordance with the truth, and you are not concerned with anyone's opinion for you do not regard a person's status. Tell us then, what is your opinion? Is it lawful to pay the census tax to Caesar or not? Knowing their malice, Jesus said, why are you testing me, you hypocrites? Show me the coin that pays the census tax. And they handed him the Roman coin. He said to them, Whose image is this, and whose inscription? And they replied, Caesar's. At that he said to them, Then repay to Caesar what belongs to Caesar, and to God what belongs to God. The Gospel of the Lord. Since it is the 29th Sunday in Ordinary Time, and this gospel always shows up around Election Day, it's very tempting to use this gospel and interpret it in secular terms. However, it has nothing to do with any upcoming election. If you were listening to the first reading, you got a clue as to what the gospel is all about. In the reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah, it simply says, I am the Lord, there is no other. There is no God besides me. And concludes with, I am the Lord, there is no other. Over the last couple of weeks, I've had the opportunity to bring in some of the various 
commandments. You all agree that there are still ten commandments, right? If you don't, you're free to leave. You know, get home early for dinner. But the fact of the matter is, is tonight, I'm going to ask that you focus on the first commandment. I am the Lord your God. You shall not have strange gods or other gods before me. Now, in our own society, as well as the first century, and for that matter, in Isaiah's time, and for that matter, in Moses' time, people were distracted from the God who created them, the God who redeems them, and the God who guides them each and every day. When we were born, we came into the world, and we had nothing, literally. Buck naked, here we come. And last time I checked, when we had a funeral here the other day, that person left with nothing. They may have been materially rich and left a legacy or an estate behind, but we come into this world with nothing and we leave with nothing. Occasionally, though, we do accumulate a few uh, odds and ends along the way. But the fact of the matter is, is that, is our eye always on the God who created us? Do we make various man-made or man-given items more important than our worship and our devotion to our God. That's what the first commandment is all about. It's obviously been talked about for over 5,000 years and has been a problem with human behavior all along. So tonight I am going to ask that you focus on the God who created you. I mean, the little argument that was going on with the Pharisees and the Herodians, they were really two, two people, two groups who had no use for one another, except they wanted to get Jesus. And the fact of the matter is, is I don't want you to let any group or theory or philosophy divert you from the fact that you are com committed to the one true God, God our Father. Jesus Christ, his Son, and the Holy Spirit that we have to inspire us. Today, this parish celebrated three First Communions. And we did it, and we did it well. Some of us may be a little tired, but not Matthew, right? You're, you're ready to go for number four? Okay. As you can see, Monsignor's a bundle of energy. <laughs> But the fact of the matter is, is another 60 of our young men and women received our Lord in the Blessed Sacrament for the first time. And they did so, of course, in this various difficult period called the pandemic. And yet, I ask that you pray for them. Pray for their families. We are all part of the community or the family or the parish of St. Aidan. And we are responsible to be sure that those young men and women be raised and understand what they started today. And the very reason that you are here is to receive the body and blood of Jesus and get the graces and favors that come with it so that you can live out the rest of the coming week. One God, three divine persons, not taking your eye off the prize. The whole part about rendering unto Caesar, of course, Caesar was considered in, in Roman tradition a God, whoever the Caesar was. Caesar wasn't, was a title, not necessarily a person. Belonged to a person. But the fact of the matter is, is that we don't give human beings the title of God. There is but one God. And in a few moments, when we recite the creed, we're going to profess that. 
So I ask that in the first phrase of the creed, when we say, I believe in God, we really mean it from our hearts. And if you say those, the creed or any of the basic prayers to yourself nice and slow sometime this evening, hopefully those words will trigger something in your life because then you put that faith into service, faith into action. We don't have to render anything to Caesar, but we do have to render everything that we have to God. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us now stand and profess our belief in Christ and his holy church. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, the life of the world to come, amen. Let us now pray that God's mercy be upon us as we trustingly place our prayers before him, responding, Lord, hear our prayer. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, head missionary of the church, and for all missionaries and martyrs who gave their lives to tell the glory of the Lord among the nations, especially those serving the most forgotten during the COVID-19 pandemic, that they may be loving, wise, and holy witnesses of Christ our Savior, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For God's continued blessings upon all of our uniformed men and women who serve both at home and abroad, in a special way, we pray for all of our first responders. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who labor on behalf of the right to life of every human being, both born and unborn, in a special way, we pray for those who lovingly minister at Rockland Birthright, whose virtual baby bottle drive will soon be concluding. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For persecuted Christians around the world, especially those who are being martyred for their faith in Jesus, that the Holy Spirit of God will encourage and strengthen them in their sufferings. We especially remember those living in the Middle East, India, China, and Africa. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, that she may continue the mission of Jesus by sending forth the baptized faithful as missionaries who faithfully witness and proclaim the gospel, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are presently ill in mind, body, or spirit, that they may be uplifted and strengthened by the presence of God in their lives, we remember all those whose names have been placed in our parish bulletin. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For John Schmidt, Deacon Mark Sherwinski, Peter McKiernan, and all of our recently departed brothers and sisters, that they may now be welcomed into eternal life in the kingdom of heaven, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Kathleen Weir, for whom this mass is being offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. <laughs> Lord, may your kindness be upon us, and if it be your holy will, grant the prayers we have just placed before you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Consider all the worlds thy hand hath made. 
the stars, I hear the rolling thunder, thy power throughout the universe displayed, then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee, how great thou art. Brothers and sisters, let us pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May you, the Lord, accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all of his holy church. Let us pray. Grant us, Lord, we pray, a sincere respect for your gifts, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. To lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changings of times and seasons. You formed man in your own image and set humanity over the whole world in all its wonder, to rule in your name over all you have made, and forever praise you in your mighty work through Christ our Lord. And so with all the angels we praise you, and in joyful celebration we sing. Holy, 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 created rightly gives you praise for through your son our lord jesus christ by the power and working of the holy spirit you give life to all things and make them holy and you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name therefore o lord we humbly employ you by the same spirit graciously make holy these gifts be brought to you for consecration so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. From the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, 
Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, Aidan, and all the saints, on whose constant intercession your presence, we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, Timothy, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you, in your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children, scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleased to at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 Let us now pray to the Father using the words Jesus, our Savior, gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and saved from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with all of you. And with your spirit, let us offer one another a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away 
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Behold, the eyes of the Lord are on those who fear him, who hope in his merciful love, to rescue their souls from death, to keep them alive in famine. Oh 
of a couple of announcements. We congratulate all our young men and women who received the Sacrament of First Communion today. And of course, we ask for your prayers for them. Our annual free parish concert will take place on Friday evening, November the 13th at 7 p.m. in the church. Because of the social distancing requirement, this will be a ticketed event this year. And further details can be found in today's bulletin. November is traditionally known as the month of all souls. Your all souls envelopes containing the names of your deceased loved ones will be placed on the altar throughout the month and a special week-long novena of masses will be offered up for their souls. So just simply please put your envelope in the regular collection box at the rear of the church. Our annual parish memorial mass for all of our parishioners who died during the past year will take place at our 9 a.m. morning mass on Saturday, November the 7th. The names of our recently deceased of the parish will be read aloud during that mass. Our parish anointing mass will take place this upcoming Saturday, October 31st at 12 noon. Again, please see the bulletin for details. And next week's second collection is in support of our annual or our monthly parish finance assessment. If it's an annual event, Monsignor is going to fall off his chair. Uh, I have to keep him upright. He's tired today, remember. But please be as generous as you can in this time of need. The parish needs you as I need you for St. Vincent de Paul. Without you, neither the parish nor the food pantry goes anywhere. We're going to have that annual um, parish raffle. Most of you got that in the mail. You can just drop that in the collection anytime. Just bring back the Mass and drop it in. You don't have to mail it, just drop it. But there's someone outside after Mass tonight. If you don't get that mailing and want extra tickets, she's outside the door waiting for you. Let us stand and pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray that benefiting from participation in heavenly things, we may be helped by what you give in this present age and prepare for the gifts that are eternal to Christ our Lord. Amen. Our prayer to the Virgin Mary for protection. O Mary, you shine continuously on our journey as a sign of salvation and hope. We entrust ourselves to you, health of the sick. At the foot of the cross, you participated in Jesus' pain with steadfast faith. You, Our Lady of New York, know what we need. We are certain that you will provide so that as you did at Cana of Galilee, joy and feasting might return after this moment of trial. Help us, Mother of Divine Love, to conform ourselves to the Father's will and to do what Jesus tells us. He who took our sufferings upon himself and bore our sorrows to bring us through the cross to the joy of the resurrection. Amen. We seek refuge under your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our pleas. We are put to the test and deliver us from every danger, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. I invite our minister of the Eucharist to bring the body of Christ to one of our homebound brothers or sisters. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you always, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. This Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be, to, be God. to God. Oh, God of all creation.
باشد